students uh, welcome back to my channel with Real Fianti a lecture of Bristol University I'm going to use this video to teach you about the course so the topic for today is about conceptualization and operationalization so there are two keywords first is a concept and second is operationalization now what is a concept concept is very basic terminology that we always heard concept is a building block so it's an observable object or subject that we can use to correspond with a particular idea this concept can be used as a variable so when the concept can be used as a variable in our research you can use some concepts or a concept as a variable in your research when a concept presumably connected to with each other in a simple way that one concept can give meaning to another concept so then you can build the blog of your research you can build a direction in your research by connecting some concepts and that concept becomes your variable in your research the both conceptualization and operationalization are the scientific process in which the researcher defines and measures its variables so when you want to make a process of conceptualization and operationalization that means you already know how to measure the work of the variables in what way the variable connect to each other and in what way the variable can give a meaning to your research you know how to measure it you know how to give a direction in which it works right so and then how do we measure the work of variables to measure the variables then you can cover the tenet of the epistemology of aspect in your research so the way variables work in a research strongly related to the epistemological concept or background of your research so we have discussed we have learned about what is a concept and when we can use the concepts as a variable into our research now what is conceptualization actually so conceptualization is a process that um, through which we specify what we mean when we use particular terms in our research so we specify the variables we can specify the concepts that we used by defining in specific ways and in other words that is the process of which researcher defines the variables that it is using when we provide definition to our variables we are actually defining the terms either nominally or conceptually so for example you want to look at about the process of democratization in indonesia in that in the current digital age now you need to first you know define what you mean by democratization and what you mean by digital age Okay. so we have defined what is a um, concept and how the conceptualization works now the thing is how we measure the work of a concept and how we connect the conceptualization into the reality that we find in our research the next terminology or the next thing that we need to understand is the operationalization how we operating our research based on the conceptualization that we have established in the beginning of our research what does it mean it means the process through which we measure particular terms that we used in our research so 
we for example we already used several um, concepts in our research let's say we use the concept of foreign policy democracy or you know um, fit, um, role for example now we need to know exactly how we use this how we operate those the concepts in our research then we need the operationalization when we provide a measurement for our variables we are defining the terms operationalize operationally in the stage of conceptualization we define concepts as a variable by giving definition conceptually or nominally but in the stage of operationalization we defined the um, terms or the um, uh, concepts or the variables operationally what does it mean that means we need to be able to set up a operational definition this is like definition which specifies precisely how one intends to measure its chosen variables so you need to be precise you need to be precise and that the precise way of defining specific variables is used as an indicator so simply speaking in the beginning of our research we need to be clear with the way we built the uh, operationalization and conceptualization in the stage of operationalization we need to be able to give a definition of terms or concepts operationally consequently we need to deliver operational definition so to make it clear now we give you some you know um, references for some examples in the way researchers use operationalization and conceptualization in their research we refer to the work of william oliver oliver um, in his article focused on explaining the uh, structural violence uh, due to the cultural cultural racisms in the um, uh, usa for example so oliver used a conceptual uh, diagram this diagram consists of first independent variable second dependent variable and third relationship between the independent variables and dependent variables so what is the independent variable being used in oliver's article the variable the independent variable that is being used is the cultural racism this a variable has connection to the dependent variable as you already know the difference between them so the dependent variable that is being used in this research is the structural violence now how Oliver built connection between these two concepts the first concept is cultural racism as the independent variable and another concept is the structural violence as dependent variable the relationship between them are first they defined um, the relationship as to first massive social disorganization among african and american and second relationship can be seen in self-perception of american and american so in his article oliver portrayed the operational definition of cultural racism according to oliver he defined cultural racism as a systematic maneuver in which the white majority has established its primary cultural institutions to elevate and to glorify european physical characteristics and character and achievement and to this um, to degrade, to denigrate the physical characteristics, character, and achievement of a non-white people. So, based on this conceptual definition, later on Oliver in his article provided operational definition of cultural racism. Operationally speaking, this concept, the cultural racism, can be defined as First, the absence of primary 
and secondary education curriculum on African and American contribution to human civilization and second negative image of African Americans in TV programs and the third is dis disseminating of practical artifacts used in the course of daily routine. So this is the picture where you can see that the structural seasons exist in the TV programs and um, in order to portray or to um, uh, elevate the characteristic of European white and to downgrade the characteristic of the non-white people used and broadcasted in television nationwide. So, on the other hand, Oliver also attempted to divine the pendant variable in his research that he used structural violence and then in a way of giving a conceptual definition, Oliver defined structural violence as a violence that occurs in the context of establishing, maintaining, and extending, reducing, or as a consequence of the hierarchical ordering of categories of people in society. To make it short, Oliver make a list of operational definitions of structural violence. As you can see in the paragraph in page 8 until 20. So the list of operational definition is first is lynching, two hate crime, and the third is the racial hooks, and the fourth is police violence. And then he also explained about the dimensions of structural violence. Having said that, now it is your turn to work on you know, um, practicing your skills and understanding by establishing an operationalization and conceptualization of your both independent variables and independent variables in your research, uh, research proposal draft. So in the structure of explanation, the first thing that you need to explain is first conceptual diagram and the second is conceptual definition and within the conceptual definition you also need to provide the information of independent variable and dependent variable and then in the next part is operational definition which covers independent variable and dependent variable and then in the next part you talk about the relationship between independent variable and dependent variable after that, you need to emphasize the scope and limitation of your study.